My name is Kino and Mrs. Phillips asked me to come here and talk to you about a little bit about my career, what I do, and how math might be related to this career. Um, I'm a flight nurse and I fly with Care Flight. You'll have probably seen that helicopter around the area. We fly to scenes where there might be accidents, uh, could be farming accidents, industrial accidents, and we also fly to hospitals where we transfer patients in and out. Um, nursing's been my career for about 25 years. And um, through those 25 years, while it's changed a little bit, uh, mathematics has been a very, very key role in taking care of patients. It's um, one of the most important aspects of nursing, as a matter of fact. Um, on a helicopter, um, the pilot uses mathematics a lot. He has to calculate the weight of the helicopter, uh, the weight of the nurses, and how much fuel he has on board to know if he has uh, an, not a, a sufficient weight that he can still lift the helicopter. So every time we scoop up a patient, he has to calculate, according to the patient's weight, if we're going to be safe to take off. Um, he also has to calculate how much fuel to put in so we can maintain that balance that we can take off according to what the temperature is, or what the weather's like, etc. So he does a lot of calculating um, in basic math. He also has to go use tables. So you have to learn how to use tables a lot in our career. In nursing, we use mathematics a lot to calculate how, many, how much medication to give a patient. A lot of adults, we have to calculate how much IV fluids we can give them. We might have to calculate how fast to run an IV drip um, um, by calculating what the dosage is we want to give them. We might have a range dosage, like we can even go as small as 2 micrograms per kilogram per minute, and we can titrate that medication up to over 20 micrograms per kilogram per minute. Since it's an IV drip, we have to continuously calculate how much we can increase that drip rate by. A lot of medications given to pediatric patients have to be calculated according to what their weight is. Um, and a lot of people only know their weight in pounds, so we have to calculate according to what their poundage is, we have to change it over to kilograms, so we use metrics a lot in our profession. From the kilograms, we know that we can give for example, one milligram per kilogram to a patient of medicine. So we have to be able to calculate, usually in our heads, how many milligrams we, of a medication we're supposed to give that patient. So math is, <clears throat> is a huge part of our uh, medication aspect. Also, there's a lot of equipment that we use that are all different sizes. And the size of the equipment that we use, let's say like a tube that I would put down into your um, throat, into your lung to help you breathe, we can calculate that according to the patient's age and patient's weight. How far we put a tube in may be calculated according to what their height is. We calculate body surface areas to determine a lot of things that we may do with them. Um, there's a lot of other kinds of tubes we may put in other places <laughs> that we need to know how tall they are, how much they weigh. So it's a continuous um, calculation, and a lot of it's done in our heads. We have some charts that we can use, or some grids and guidelines that we may be able to use to help us. There's a lot of ratios that we may use. Uh, ratios of we can give one milligram per kilogram, and we can use a ratio formula to calculate that. Um, we use a lot of um, conversions where we convert um, American to metric, so we may convert pounds to kilograms, we may convert ounces to uh, milliliters. We may convert gallons to um, liters. There's a lot of conversion that we have to know. We use a lot of scientific notation because a lot of dosages can be as small as 0.1 milligram per kilogram. So we have to use scientific notation to make that a little simpler for us um, to m multiply it out. Um, okay. um, and I think that pretty much gets uh, touches on the subject of what kind of math you can use when you're nursing. I don't think I've covered 100% of what there is involved because there is a lot of math involved and I'm not sure that I can hit all of it. Thanks for having me.